much Friday, June 15th. I'm really sorry about this. I sight camera, headset, jiggle my MacBook around. In terms of video quality, this is pretty horrible. But at least I have the divine light of God flowing from my hands. John, coming to see you was probably worth this, but only just. I hate flying on airplanes, and living in Montana doesn't make this any easier. I woke up at around 6 o'clock in the morning to get in a cab this morning, and I will arrive home at 1 o'clock in the morning, Dominican Republic time. What I want to be doing right now is sleeping. But instead, I'm sitting at the base of a column of light with people staring at me because they obviously think that I'm really weird. But I'm just going to do it because my plane will arrive in Missoula after the deadline and I must continue the brotherhood. So that's enough complaining. And I think we're starting to realize that there might be long spaces of time between when we get to see each other. While that, I guess, is normal in this day and age, it's not comfortable, and it sucks. Especially when there's an Evil Baby Orphanage to create. Nerdfighters would be excited to hear that John and I were able to work on the Evil Baby Orphanage while on our family vacation. And I can tell you one thing for sure, the idea is not getting any less awesome. But of course, being able to discuss the Evil Baby Orphanage was only one of the many benefits of having some non-textual, but also non-video blog communication going on between the brothers. Brotherhood 2.0 maybe became a little bit redundant for that week. But it helped highlight the difference between textual communication, video blog communication, and face-to-face -face communication. And that kind of stuff is really, I guess, what this project is about. What I realize is, neither of us are really quite ourselves over Instant Messenger, or even over the video blogs but we can't not be ourselves face to face. And it helped remind me what kind of guy you really are. And also, how totally crazy you can be sometimes. I mean, I was excited about the idea of Donkey Polo, mostly just because I think it's absolutely ridiculous. But I can't say I understand your supreme disappointment. I think that heat is a fine reason to cancel miniature donkey polo. Can you think of anything more sad than a miniature donkey overheating? That would be horrible. But aside from your occasional bouts of high stress and sanity, you're a pretty amazing brother and a pretty amazing guy. And I'm really happy to be your brother. I hope you're having a good time in your last day in the DR. I wish I was still there with you a lot, except that I really kind of want to be home right now more than anything else in the world. Catherine is actually going to see this video before she sees me, which is a little bit strange. I love you, baby. I'll see you soon. And John, I will see you on Monday.